Hi everyone. So I am going to do a reading for the collective. I am going to pull some cards and see what messages the universe has for you guys. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so the first three cards that came out of the deck for you guys is hesitation, divine mission, and self-care. So hesitation says, their hesitation is causing an action due to fears of rejection because of their previous behavior, or it may be they don't fully trust the connection. Okay, that's a lot. So someone is hesitating to come towards you, okay? Um, and it's like, I don't know if it's because they don't trust that they will be what you need in this connection because that's what I feel like this card is trying to say. Um, there was a lot said here. I'm going to read it over again. Their hesitation is causing an action due to fears of rejection because of their previous behavior. Yeah, see, this is about someone who may feel like they're not enough for you. Or that if they let you know the real them, that you may not want them. So this person may be wearing a mask. You see how they're covering up part of their face? So it's like if they show you who they really are collective, you may not be interested in this person. Okay, we also have divine mission. Your union will impact the world in some large scale that will help heal many on this planet through some sort of spiritual service. Wow. So some of you guys could be card readers, tarot readers. Some of you guys could be mediums or just spiritual advisors. And you may meet someone who's on the same um, you know, path as you. We also have self-care. No matter what's happened before or how hard things feel for you right now, you can't deny yourself some TLC. Your body is sacred, okay? So the universe is saying some of you guys need to take a break and you need to rest um, and you need to just focus on yourself, not this person and not the connection that you're in. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? All right, so we have cycles and we have the waiting game. How long will you continue to wait? If you find you're not receiving what you want from your twin, it's time to practice self-love and walk away. Your situation is gaining momentum. Get ready for a big change. Be sure to stay grounded as this change can throw you off your center. All right, so it's either, um, I feel like you're tired of waiting for someone, so you may decide to walk away from this uh, situation, or this person may decide to walk away, and you may let them. If this hasn't happened already, the universe is saying it's coming. So you may decide, you know what, um, I'll be better off by myself or I'm just going to, you know, be alone because you're not acting the way I need you to act anyway. So what's the point of me um, trying to focus on this connection? Spirit, what messages do you have? Okay, that part flew out of the deck. Ghosting. Some of you may have been ghosted by your person. It can be difficult to hear, but if someone is ghosting you and doesn't want to be with you, they are reflecting a lack of your own self-worth, okay? So basically, the universe is saying, if someone is ghosting you and walking away from you, let them. That's what I'm feeling in this um, reading collective. Like, don't chase this person because what's going to happen is that's just letting this person know that they're more important than you are um, and or that, you know, just because they don't respect this connection... Um, they feel like you're going to chase them or you're going to run after them. And, you know, I don't I don't know. But what I feel like the universe is trying to say here is don't chase anyone. If they're ghosting you, let them. Let them go. Okay? Because normally when people ghost you and you let them go and you don't chase them, they find their way right back to you. They're either calling you, texting you, or stopping by your house, or call, uh, reaching out to you through social media or something, talking about some what's up, big head, and stuff like that. You know, long I didn't haven't heard from you in a long time. Some foolishness like that. And you'd be like, you haven't heard from me because you ghosted me. And normally this person comes with the BS. Oh, I was going through something. I tell you about it when I see you. You know, all the types of foolishness like that is what I'm channeling here. The universe is saying, let this person walk right away. They'll be back. Don't chase them. So you also have secret detective. If one of you is snooping, you need to ask yourself why you don't trust them or vice versa. If the trust is gone, how can you cultivate a healthy relationship? And then we also have turning point. You're realizing there's no easy way out of this karmic love, but you're beginning to take your power back and make those long overdue changes. Yeah, some of you are like, screw this person. I'm not putting up with your BS. You walked away from me for nothing. Like, I feel like you thought things were good with someone and then 
they decided to stop calling you um, or texting you. However, you communicate with this person could be long distance. So you may FaceTime with them or Skype with them. And then, you know, this hasn't happened in a while and you're wondering why. So there's some sort of turning point to the situation. Okay. And you may be snooping on this person or just, you know, doing a little spying or just trying to figure out what's going on with them. And the universe is saying, you know what? Don't even worry about it. So that's what I'm picking up in this um, reading for the collective. It's like if someone has ghosted you or they're acting weird or funny or like they don't want to be bothered, just let them go. They'll return. They normally do. All right. We have not this lifetime. They are your true twin flame. But sadly, there's a possibility that you won't end up together in this lifetime due to circumstances out of your control. It may be that you're not compatible with this person or you're not meant to be together. Okay. So maybe this is someone that the universe is trying to save you from. The universe may be trying to take this person away and take, you know, push them out of your life so that someone else that's meant to be in your life can come through. So you can make space for this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? All right, so we have Eros love. Eros is sexual, passionate, a romantic kind of love that can become an infatuation filled with lust and dangerous due to the loss of control. So I feel like some of you may be infatuated with someone and you may want this person to be... Um, it's like you may be thinking about them in a specific way, but... It's like the universe is telling you to take the rose-colored glasses off because it could just be a sexual connection here. It's like you may want, want more from this person, but what you're not realizing is this is just sex, passion, and romance. They may not be meant to like stay in your life or give you something fulfilling, but I feel like this is what you want um, because look at this person. It's like they're thinking about like, I want more out of this. I don't just want sex out of this connection. And you may be dealing with someone who just wants that. Now, we also have hidden blessings. You're being asked to go and see some of you are being asked to go in a new direction. You're being asked to go in a new direction. You will be amazingly surprised by the detour. It will be unknown territory for you. So I feel like the universe is like, listen, whoever this person you keep running back and forth with, that's not showing you the right type of love, energy, effort, and emotions that you're looking for. They're telling you that maybe it's time to just step back from this person. Okay? Let them miss you. Stop calling them. Stop texting them. Okay? Um, it's 7.8 billion people on the face of this earth. Don't let this one person rule your world. Because there's a hidden blessing out there that the universe is trying to bring towards you. And it could be someone that is meant to be in your life. So you could be blocking your blessings by hanging on to this person. And you may be trying to change them or waiting for them to change. Wanting them to be, you know, this type of person that you're looking for to be in your life. But they may not be ready. All right. I don't know. These cards just flew out of the deck. So we're going to take them. Um, False twin flame. If loving them leaves you feeling drained, incompatible in many ways, or deep down you know something is not right, they are not your twin. So some of you may feel like you're dealing with a twin flame, but you're really not. It could be your false twin flame. We also have gift. Expect a gift or romantic date night invitation. Your time has come to enjoy a beautiful union filled with love and romantic gestures. So somebody may try to offer you flowers. They may try to get back on your good side. They may buy you a gift. And then we have differences. Your twin may be different to you. Different cultures, beliefs, age, or in status. This could keep you apart until the differences get resolved. Okay, so someone needs to grow up here. Someone could be really immature. And you're looking for this person to be on your level or to get on your level. And maybe that's what you felt or thought in the beginning when you first met them. Or maybe you've been dealing with this person for quite some time. Maybe years. Okay, and you're like, you know what, you're still not on my level. I'm surpassing you. I'm reaching my goals and I'm very ambitious and I'm moving forward. And I feel like some of you are trying to drag someone along with you and they keep falling. And that's because I feel like this person is not ready to be where you want them to be. And so the universe is saying, you may have to leave this person behind because you may feel like this person is holding you back. But you love them. I feel like you love them a lot. And I feel like whoever this is, they may come in and try to offer you something. Because they may even feel you pulling away your energy collective. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? All right, something just fell on the floor. Give me one second, guys. All right, so the card that fell on the floor is Save Space. Your twin will feel safer being friends first before getting intimate. Learn to enjoy the present moment and discover your playful side. So the universe is saying for some of you who just met someone, don't get too serious about this person until you find out what this, where this situation is going and what it's all about. Find out what this person wants and what their intentions are. Save some safe space here for you so that you don't get too involved um, too fast and then possibly get your feelings hurt if this person doesn't want what you want. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? All right, we have right timing. Both of your souls have evolved and have awakened to this connection. That could last a lifetime. Your hard work is now being rewarded. So for some of you, this is the right timing for you to be with this person. And you will know who you are based on the connection that you're in. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? Easy breezy. No relationship is easy. But it shouldn't be a war either. You will work together and make room for improvements in your connection. Yes, yeah, some of you, like, the, it's something having to do with timing. Um, you could be going through something with this person and then all of a sudden things start changing. I don't know if you're going to believe it right away, though. Some of you may try to make someone prove themselves. Because, you know, this card is saying no relationship is easy, but it shouldn't be a war either. You will work together and make room for improvements. And when I think of improvements, this means someone is changing themselves, okay? Um, it's like they're realizing what you want and what you need. And they feel like if they don't change themselves, that you're going to walk away from this. And I feel like some of you are. Some of you are and some of you are. And the ones who are, it's either you're already out the door or it's like mentally you've checked out. Physically, you may still be with this person, but mentally, you may have checked out from this person already. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? All right, so we have stuck in limbo. You're stuck in limbo, filled with doubt or confusion regarding your relationship with someone you believe is a twin flame. Break the cycle. So some of you are stuck in a relationship because you believe like this is your twin flame. But the universe is saying this may not be your twin flame. And it's okay to break this cycle, okay? I feel like you will know when someone is your twin flame because if you pull away from this person and try to break the cycle, this person's gonna chase the hell out of you. They're not gonna let you leave. They're gonna do everything that they can to keep you around. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? All right, so this card wanted to slide out here. We have trapped. There is a sense of guilt for betraying and leaving your karmic partner. There is karma between you that must be resolved and should be resolved. So some of you may feel guilty for walking away from someone. You may feel like this person needs you. Maybe this person, um, it's like you look you are looking at their life and you see that it's really messed up and you look at your life and you like it's good and you're like you know what um you know i feel bad walking away from them they have this going on they got that going on and i just feel like there's a lot of guilt here spare what messages do you have what messages do you have for the collective what messages do you have for the collective okay we have pulling you up and justifying behavior. You will encourage each other in every little aspect of life, pulling one another out of self-doubt and dark times, a shelter from the torments of life. I just said that. Like, this just came out. I just talked this up. I feel like some of you are feeling guilty because you're used to pulling someone up. And it's like, now you're tired, though. You're like, listen, I've been pulling you along. You haven't been getting your shit together. You know, you've been reaching your goals. You're very ambitious. You're moving forward. You have things happening for you. And this person is at a standstill. And I feel like someone could possibly be jealous of you because they're seeing, like, you know, your structure like how you have you know how you have things going on in your life and you stay on point with it and you know you take care of home and you go to work and then you may have a side business and you know you you make things happen for yourself and i feel like someone else is looking at you like how are they doing this i can't do this or i can't move as fast as they can or they just can't get on your level and make something happen and i'm picking up the energy that someone could be jealous of you and so you may feel guilty um, you know, for even thinking about walking away from this person or maybe you walked away already and you feel guilty about it. 
And then we have justifying behavior. To justify their behavior, even though you know deep down inside that is what... Um, I don't even know how this was... Okay, that doesn't even sound right. To justify their behavior, even though you know deep down inside that it was... Oh, okay, that it was wrong or questionable at best. It's clearly not a good sign. So someone is saying, don't justify this person's behavior. You know how someone just readily give people excuses? Like, for example, your girlfriend may be like, or your friend may be like, because these cards are not gender-based, you know, male or female energy. Your friend may be like, you know what, I don't like the way they're treating you. And then you just, that's out like, oh, you know what, don't, it's not their fault. They have, you know, something going on in their life. You know, somebody passed away or someone's sick and, you know, this is just, you know, how they are. They'll get better. But, like, I feel like some of you are justifying someone's behavior to a family member or a friend or something and you're really hurting, but you're not looking at things through, through like the bigger picture. It's like when you justify this person's behavior, it doesn't help them. They continue to be this way and you continue to get hurt because this person on this car, it looks like they're hurting and they're hiding their true feelings and they feel stuck and they feel trapped and they can't get out of something. But that could possibly be because you're justifying this person's behavior um, when in actuality you need to be telling them about themselves because they do need to bring some sort of change because you're the one hurting here. And then we have losing identity. You feel like you are slowly losing yourself in the process of loving them and forgetting that you are also deserving of love. Yeah, wow. I feel like some of you are just throwing all of yourselves into a relationship and this person isn't. And the universe is saying, don't do that because that's not going to help this connection at all. It's not going to make this person love you more. Okay, it's going to fly out of the deck. Marriage. So some of you, this could be involving a marriage. With great patience, you will achieve the commitment you're looking for. This will be the kind of love many only dream of finding. So some of you may wind up getting married to this person that you're dealing with but if this is going to happen what i'm truly seeing here is that you're going to have to pull back and stop giving this person excuses stop justifying their behavior stop allowing them to run in and out of the um, connection and then you know you may seek change or the change that you want you know the emotional um behavior the energy that you want like the positive energy and the emotional behavior that you want to see from this person whatever you're giving them that you want reciprocated i feel like once you stop making excuses if you, if that's what you guys are doing stop making excuses for this person and just step back and be like you know what you're not giving me anything i'm not being happy so why am i supplying you with all of my energy effort and emotions and making you happy it's time for me to step back from this connection and realize that I'm not happy, so I'm not going to continue to just throw all of myself into this. It has to be an equal give and take. And I feel like once you guys allow this person to see that it has to be an equal give and take, you may be headed toward marriage. We have divine timing as your next card. Behind every twin flame journey, there's a divine plan and a divine time for accomplishing it. Don't focus on when, but how you can learn from it. So let's pull one more. One goal, two ways. You could be attracted to someone who does things very different from you. But if you learn to communicate, you can make it work. I said one more, right? Okay. So we're going to pull this last one. Small challenges. No relationship is perfect. And when things go awry, and they will, don't be so quick to think your relationship is over. You are learning and growing. So some of you are, are some um, like the universe is saying, don't give up on a connection with small challenges. So you'll know who you are and you'll know if the challenges are small or if there's something that's um, a repetitive cycle that's going on and on, that's causing you to hurt and feel like this, you know, you'll know the difference from whether to work on that or to pull back from it. So those are the messages that I have for the collective. I just wanna say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at my cards never lie to row. I'm also on TikTok at the Empress 522 and I will see you guys next time. Bye.